they played very defensive and you know I kept them in the game for long periods of time. I, you know, I think no doubt. I think we had a lot of aspects of our game weren't good today. I think we, you know, we didn't take a lot of good chances that were presented, and you know, obviously, I think Kilmel had a few as well. But yeah, I'm a bit disappointed up front that you know we had a lot of quality ball and we didn't put the game away like. mm. probably the start of that third quarter I think you turned over kickouts at will with just a couple of wides at that point probably put you in the melting pot yeah look at we you know we had position as you said and I think we just didn't show enough of patience in front of goals a lot of on options and fellas were rushing their kicks and you know I think look I think really it put it down to a lot of sloppy passing from more lads today that you know that you know, it hindered us, kept us back, like, and didn't really, we didn't look as fluent as we normally do going forward. And I think every time we turned the ball over, we gave a score away. Yeah. That being said, though, I suppose, ironically enough, it was composure and experience that probably was the difference in the end, wasn't it? Yeah, look, there's no doubt we have a bit of that to keep us going. And, uh, you know, that's, you know, it got us over today. I don't think it's going to work on, you know, going forward. Like, you know, there's definitely a big improvement required. And, um, you know, all throughout our team like I think we have issues to deal with like you know but look at we're in the county semi-final we can't complain at least we can go work on those things now and you can sit back now and watch the, the next three games over the weekend yeah look you know I mean as I say you know it's good for us like I mean now we know what we have to work on and the boys are just saying it there themselves it wasn't good enough today for us like you know going forward like if we if we are to get another round under the belt like you know so uh, yeah look as I say it is Good it happened today, at least hopefully the next day we'll put in a better performance. Yeah. Very positive to say, I suppose even at the end your optimum performance and still getting the result. Yeah, well look at, we, you know, we have a few, a few performances in now under the belt at this stage, you know, so look at, I mean, obviously we always can go back and talk about this and that and the other thing and injuries and stuff, but look at, this is what we have, everyone's got their issues and, you know, there's no doubt we have to up our game and no, I, I think we can, that's the, the thing, like, you know, there's there's definitely room for another 20 or 30% improvement there, and if we get that, we'll still be a match for anyone. And the forward line, even is one thing you were saying, you've maybe liked a bit more strength than standing out that you think the Murray Brick will need to, to hone in on for the next few weeks. Yeah, look, uh, I mean, there's no doubt, I think, uh, you know, I mean, we have a lot of good workers, we probably need a few more lads to to step up and put some scores on the board, you know, Keelan has kept us in it today, I suppose, as much with freeze as anything, like, you know, I think it was a game for freeze more often than that, like, you know, and, uh, yeah, look, we're looking for a better spread of scores, I think Michael DeWire came on there today, he added a little bit to us, he's been coming back from injury, so, you know, you know, look, we're still looking at some new subs there, hopefully someone will come on and make an impact, you know, but, look, as I say, we're happy enough. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.